glad you're here. I hope you decide to make this when all is said and done. It is creamy broccoli and cherry tomato pasta. It's uh, everything is fresh in here. It's gluten free. It's vegan, and it was really easy to make. Right, Maddie? Wasn't it? Yep. Yep. So let's get started. A complete list of ingredients can be found in the info box. First, you're going to need two pounds of gluten-free pasta, one and one half cups of raw cashew nuts, a handful of fresh basil, extra virgin olive oil, one whole onion chopped, I use the Vidalia onion, five or more garlic cloves, one quarter cup of nutritional yeast, two tablespoons of dried oregano, a whole pound of broccoli chopped up, two pints of cherry tomatoes, any kind you want, one and one half cups of unsweetened plain almond milk, and salt and pepper to taste. Cover the cashews with boiling water and let sit for 15 minutes. Heat up your wok on a high flame. Add your extra virgin olive oil and onions and saute until they begin to get soft. When you can start to see through the onions, now it's time to add the cherry tomatoes. Cook until they start to get soft as well. Use the back of your spoon to smash the cherry tomatoes to make them into a sauce. Once all the cherries are smashed, now it's time to add the broccoli and cook until tender. While the broccoli is cooking in a blender, add your drained cashew nuts. garlic cloves, the nutritional yeast, and all of the almond milk. Blend on high until completely smooth. Cook your gluten-free pasta in a large pot of salted boiling water according to the package directions and desired tenderness. Chop up the basil and add it to the pan along with the oregano and cook one minute. Lower the heat and add the cashew mixture and blend completely. When it's completely blended, you're ready to add your freshly cooked pasta. Turn off the flame and get ready to plate it. Alright, wasn't that quick and easy? Yeah. Maddie is going to give it a try now. Um, it looks really good. I wish you could smell it because the garlic is just permeating my nostrils. I love garlicky food mm. and it's really healthy for you too. Delicious. Excellent. Well, I hope you decide to make it. If you like this recipe, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button because it means a lot to us. And we'll see you next time in the kitchen for Meatless Mondays. Till next time, much love.